Seems like the high spot's moving around a little bit. I think that's chrome plated brass. So I shouldn't have to over bend it too much. Seems to take almost nothing to bend that shaft. I think it's straight enough. Now here's where we're going to find the sins. Oops. Ooh, 15, 20 thousandths high there. Okay, so I need to chuck up on the shaft here, recenter it, and work on that. I'm just looking at the uh, purple jaw. Purple, 15. Okay, so I need to tighten this jaw a little bit. Look at that, we're within a thou. We'll loosen this slightly. There we're on zero. Hard. It's as if this shaft is out of round. There you are, boys and girls. That's within one or two tenths. Beauty, baby, beauty. Pick up the needle. Let's come out here into this bent up area. Soft. Hard. That's the high spot right there. Now, because we have this mounted in the lathe, we can, uh, we can really dial it in good. This is the high spot. Ooh, don't let that drop. I'm not going to do that much. I'm going to get in here and check it. Look at that. That little bit moved it. Now it's only off fifteen thousandths from side to side. These lathes are made out of soft stuff, boys and girls. That's the high spot. Let's see, and just for reference, the notch here is at uh, about 730. I'll make sure I'm not going back and forth. I should have this on my carriage.
Okay, that's still the high spot. Still a high spot. I don't want to bend this back and forth. I want to go nice and easy. Moved it a little closer so my hammer blow has less impact. If you don't have a lathe, you can't do stuff like this. A lathe is an amazingly useful tool. Now basically I haven't gotten anywhere, but that's okay. Take it nice and easy. Seems like the high spot's moving around a little bit. So it must be influencing something. Still out by the same amount though. Okay, I'm out by less than fifteen thousandths now. Starting to have an impact. Maybe I'm just fooling myself. I wish I had a precision way to move that indicator in and out. Now I'm out by 14. Well, by 13, 13 and a half or 12. Look at it, look at that. That's the high point. That's the low point, less than 10.
seven. Seven or eight. Five. Out by five. This could be it. Didn't change a thing. Oh, high points over here now. High points. High points there. Beauty, we're within two. Whoa. I wonder if my I wonder if the end of this shaft is no longer round and depending on where I am along here I may be getting a different reading. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Oh, I was touching the needle. Okay. Do you see that? Wow. I'm very, very happy.
That shaft is strip. Oops. That shaft is straight within about three tenths. Three tenths of one thousandths. Three or four tenths of one thousandths. That's as good as I'm going to get it. That's probably straighter than it came from the factory. Now, we got one more thing to look at. I got this dialed in within a couple tenths, but look what we got out here. I don't know why that happened. I'm cleaning out this end here. Thinking maybe I can indicate it here. I can't indicate it on the threads. A cool thing to do would be to make a sleeve that would fit this with a bore that's concentric to the OD. And inside of that almost feels like it has threads in it. It doesn't. Also, this little bit of area on the end that could possibly be indicated. Look, look, look how much that moves it. For some reason, the wobble down here developed after I had this in the press. That's pretty decent. Ooh, look at that. Got it within two thou. I think that's as good as she gets, baby. Time to put it back together. Our south bend lathe with the bent lead screw also has a bent crank for the cross slide. And this must have happened when the uh, cross slide lead screw got bent. And I'm going to fix that problem right here. I'm going to use my wrench. So what I'm going to do is this knob is supported here. And the base where it's plugged in is supported here. And I want to push in the middle of it. And so I've set up this rig. Now I've put the uh, masking tape on things so it doesn't mar stuff. Not that the aluminum would mar our crank. I think that's chrome plated brass. So I shouldn't have to over bend it too much. If at all. Let's take it out and look at it. I think it's still got just a little bit of bend in it. I don't know. Wow, 
looks awful good. I think I'm gonna leave well enough alone. Looks good to me. So we've installed our straightened out part. Ooh. A little brass stopper, a little brass protector that goes under the uh, collar lock screw. It keeps falling out. Let's try on our new handle. There we go. Here's our nut. And our special tool we made to serve double duty on the Harbor Freight 20 ton press. Look at that. Look how straight that is. Wow. So nice. This gap is, ooh, a little too, gotta close that up some. So there we go. You can fix anything. And having a lathe is a big help. I think I'm ready to deliver all the parts and put this man's lathe together. This has been Dave on the Crafted Channel. You gotta get dirty to get some projects done. Get out in your workshop, work on your tools, get something done. Anything's better than sitting in front of the stupid box. At least you can accomplish something in your garage. Take care.